Hey guys! Finding fun interactions, glitches and combos are a lot of fun and interesting. However, there are many occasions when I discover something that never ends up in a video. This might be for different reasons, such as it not being fit for a single video, lost motivation, or that other video ideas came up that I prioritized. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some things I got left behind. Five insane videos I never did. Let us get started. Number 1. Killing level 60s at level 30, while naked. Back in the early days of Classic, after my level 36 warrior killing level 60 video, I wanted to try push Lobis to the max. I theorycrafted a setup as a rogue that should be doable at level 30, to gank less geared level 60 characters, and this while naked, except the helmet, trinket and weapons. I leveled my rogue all the way to 30, and got the items required. Thanks to being a gnome, I was able to obtain important engineering items for this level. I managed to succeed with the combo in a duel. I tried the combo a few times in WorldBP, but being level 30 and relying much more on resistible damage compared to my warrior made the combo a real RNG pain. It also wouldn't work on highly armored and geared people such as warriors. If I kept trying, I would have definitely managed to make a great video out of it. However, I went on holiday shortly after, as well as losing motivation for WoW, only to return to retail in 8.3. Also truth is, I was running out of gold. Each attempt with a combo cost 2-3 to three gold, and with the amount of resist, as well as other people interfering during the combo, would have made it succeed maybe 1 out of 10 times. Number 2. Solo Raid Boss Shadar. At the end of Battle for Azeroth, when my paladin was insanely geared, I had always assumed Shadar would be soloable. He was a raid boss in the instant Nihiloda. I didn't commit or barely tried to solo him until just a few days before Shadowlands pre-patch. The reason is that even if I managed to solo it, I would have used a similar strategy to my Dark Inquisitor Exanic solo, which is to use a lot of NPCs to stack up Last Defender, along with massive versatility. Using the exact same strategy in multiple videos isn't as cool, which is one reason I didn't try him earlier, as well as having a busy video schedule during late BFA, since there was a lot of content. I did 2 or 3 tries and managed to get him to 11% health. The biggest issue was that my survival rotation, as well as the exploding oozes during the encounter, killed off the NPCs I needed to keep alive. Getting that close, while still having things to improve and maximize, made me realize it was possible. The problem was that I would have to prioritize spending the last day before pre-patch, hopefully getting Shadow down, or gathering the remaining footage I needed for my Anim of Destruction one-shot. Since I knew for certain that the Anima video were doable, as well as each try on Shadow taking an hour or more because of having to re-clear trash, I decided to go with the AoE one-shot instead. Number 3 auto hit one shot combo. During late BFA, when corruptions were running wild, I theorycrafted a fun new combo that would pretty much only use your auto hits, and this while being completely naked without a weapon. I used a trinket for additional damage, and required two corruption procs at once, the void ritual and the vertility proc. I also used a speed potion and bubble to not be cc'd while destroying the enemy with my fist. The reason I never went on to make anything out of this was most likely because the odds of having both corruption procs at the same time was really low, because I had to change gear set during the time Void Ritual was active. I believe I got them both together maybe once every 30 or 20 minutes, 
And then I would also need to find a horde to slay that wouldn't react or pop defensives during the 3 seconds that I'm auto hitting them. While it definitely is doable, the time spent on this specific combo didn't seem worth it at the time of BFA, with lots of other things to test. Number 4, Ashran Side Strat Rush. Ashran is an epic BG, which you all know that Alliance loses a lot. And even the times you win, it is mostly by reinforcement. How many of you actually managed to complete the quest to kill Volrath during recent expansions? Well, during early Shadowlands when getting my Demon Hunter, I decided to try something that should be doable these days, because of the weak NPC scaling in Battleground, and that is to convince the entire pug group to run behind the horde base in Ashran and rush the final boss with all the elite guards present. The only thing that limits a boss rush are the guards, as well as potential horde interference. But not many horde remain in the base by the start of the BG. They'll be busy in middle, slowly capping the objectives. And the NPCs, as I said earlier, are really weak, both in Ashran and Attic Valley. So truth be told, there ain't anything stopping you from rushing the boss, if you're able to coordinate your whole raid group to come with you. This strategy should still be doable, and even more so in 901 with the players obtaining more gear. The reason I didn't do a video about this earlier is because I wasn't sure if it was cool enough. I had some plans to keep it in for an epic BG tips and tricks video, but decided that it would fit perfectly in the video you're watching right now. Number 5. Invisible Mage One-Shot This classic Mage One-Shot video was a video I was working on along with the Rogue One. The combo was quite hilarious, enabling you to slay enemies from stealth without them being able to react to you. I managed to gather quite a lot of footage for this one. See for yourself how hilarious it is.
This combo was built around the way invisibility worked back in Classic. That you're able to see the enemy and stay invisible until the cast is finished. As well as Crystal Charge and Goblin Mortar. Having an exact 3 yard distance where you could use both. This all together results in a huge nuke. Even better since it's made while invisible. The reason I never made anything about it was similar to Rogue One. Then I took a break and when I returned I played retail instead. Thank you all for watching. I should have another part coming later on in case you enjoyed the content. Also which one of these ideas or clips do you like the most and wish I did something more with? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And as always, stay tuned for more. Good job guys. Wait, well, how do I remove Wait, a flex HUD? Flex on three. Flex on three. We all gotta flex. Okay, how do you remove HUD? Okay, flex in three, oh, out, two, uh, two, one. one. Flex. Wait, flex! Okay, fair enough. That's good. Alright guys, that was really nice.